Good morning and welcome to the virtual Delacca Lab of the Department of Engineering at the University of Salento. Let me introduce the centrifugal pump test bench. Thanks to this facility, it is possible to grant the right generation of two centrifugal pumps operating in series or parallel. Moreover, it is possible to visualize the cavitation at the inlet of one pump. The proper configuration, series or parallel, can be set up acting on the four laws which I am now going to describe. Pump 1 is positioned at the inlet of pump 1. So this is pump 1, which is positioned at the inlet of pump 1. Valve uh, 2 connects the outlet of pump uh, 2, which is this one, with the inlet of pump 1. So this is valve 2. Valve 3 is positioned at the outlet of pump 1. So this is valve 3. And finally, valve 4 is positioned at the outlet of pump 2. All these are on off valves. As I said, choosing the right position for all of them, it is possible to switch from series to parallel configuration. I will then leave up to you how to do it. You can also notice two more valves, one placed along the inlet duct here, and the other along the outlet duct here. Closing uh, this last one, it is possible to modify the head provided by the two pumps and the consequently the flow rate. The first one on the motor is useful only for directing the ductile scope, since closing it, it is possible to induce cavitation at the pump's inlet. The cavitation can be visualized on pump one thanks to this transparent color. The pump's head can be estimated based on the pressure measured at both inlet and outlet ducts. This can be done thanks to these two pressure gauges. The procedure on how to do it is detailed in the document uploaded with this beautiful lab. The water flow rate, on the other hand, is measured thanks to these two radars. Rodan for pump one and Rodan for pump two. That's it for the moment. I hope you will find interesting and useful working with our centrifugal pump virtual lab.